nation's art museums welcome 850 million visitors a year, but some museums are going beyond the exhibits. They're drawing new visitors by making the museum itself an adventure. Jamie Wax took part in a sleepover at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, that's right. We were up until the wee hours of the morning here at the American Museum of Natural History with 150 lucky people. And for many of them, the experience was the dream of a lifetime. It's Friday night at the museum, and even though the main doors are closed, there's a special event underway inside. Do we get t-shirts also? Some rolled in suitcases. Others brought blankets, and no one seemed to have forgotten their pillows. This is really weird, <laughs> not gonna lie. This is the American Museum of Natural History's sleepover just for grown-ups. For the first time, adults got a chance to spend the night underneath its famous whale. Nearly a decade ago, organizers took a cue from Ben Stiller's movie, Night at the Museum, and began holding slumber parties for kids and their parents. Since then, 62,000 children have spent the night roaming the halls of science, well past their bedtime. These are our brand new sleeping bags. Tickets for grown-ups went for $375, and they sold out in just three hours. They included admission, food and drinks, a cot, and essentially gave visitors the run of the place. Ben Weiss and Ariel Ehrman didn't even flinch at the cost. We have so many friends of ours who are so jealous, and we're like, I can't believe you guys are getting to do that. We want to be doing this there. Like, it's a, everyone's like, you're sleeping under the blue whale? You may sleep tonight. Uh, it won't be the best sleep you've ever had. Uh... <laughs> Brad Harris, the museum's director of visitor services, says this is part of an effort to get younger generations fired up about coming here. There's a lot of things for people to do, particularly in New York City. There's a lot of other museums, a lot of shiny objects to compete with. And we, like the others, have the same um, desire to bring them to us. Cocktails and dinner are up first. Welcome to the Poison Theater. Followed by a course on the power of poison. Why would you want to study poisons? Anyone? <laughs> you know, it's funny. We do this, we do this for night at the museum for the kids, and the first answer is to help people. The first answer is <laughs> others enjoyed a close-up look at birds of prey. Uh, that's a serious bird, isn't it? And we met couples like Clarice Wu and Ben Poon, whose only plan was a quiet night in the dinosaur wing. There's not that many people around, and you get to roam around the museum at your own leisure. And Melissa is a Chilean rose tarantula. It turns uh, out most visitors wanted to stay up all night. But we did find Ashley and Danny Tiemann actually trying to get some shut-eye. You're here in the Museum of Natural History <laughs> under the whale. What is that like? Well, nothing's alive, so <laughs> we're kind of happy about that. <laughs> Are you <Yeah>. sure? <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you never yeah. know. All right, go back to sleep. And if you miss the sleepover here in New York, don't despair. The museum says they'll host a few of these events every year. Gail? Mm -hmm. Jamie, thanks. We think this is, a, I think this is a very cool idea. Yeah, me too. I like how the director said it may not be the best sleep you'll ever have, but it's got to be one of the best experiences, don't you think? I do, too. I think opening up cultural institutions is a great idea. It's a good idea. Sleep, Thank though. you, Jamie. <laughs> Why'd you go look at things?